And when you point out to somebody who's relying purely on their left hemisphere that this can't be right, instead of going, oh, um, mm, maybe we should rethink a bit, it just doubles down on what it, it mistakenly believes. Those of you who have ever had to deal with a management bureaucracy will know exactly what I mean by that particular phenomenon. And what good, you might say, is what good would knowing all that be unless we could identify which hemisphere is the dominant contributor to a certain way of thinking and being. And I believe this is something that my work has added, that we can see a recognizable imprint on cognition. Um, it has many features and it has a reliably a reliably replicable set of features and characteristics. So we know that this is a typical left hemisphere construct or more a typically right hemisphere construct. And finally, it's unreliable because it is self-reinforcing. You've probably heard of the Dunning-Kruger effect, which in, in, in short says that people who don't know much think they know everything. And people who know a lot realize how very little they know. Well, the, the left hemisphere literally is less intelligent, not just emotionally and socially, but actually cognitively less intelligent. IQ depends more on the right hemisphere than on the left. And most scientists and mathematicians who have made great discoveries have relied mainly on their right hemisphere, not on the left. Although workaday people in either department may simply um, uh, rely on procedures derived from the left hemisphere. 